Good morning, everyone. It's a nice, chilly day here in Sebring. It's about uh, 50 degrees. Uh, this is David from Finish Line Factory. And uh, I'm here at Sebring International Raceway uh, for the 12 Hours of Sebring race. And uh, I just woke up from my tent and uh, it's freaking freezing. So let's go get some breakfast and some coffee and warm up. I was, I was looking for you last night. Huh? I was looking for you last night. I was around. Um, right as soon, right before you left. Yeah. They, uh, right after you left, the truck for Craig Morgan and his bus pulled out. Oh, shit. Yeah, you were sitting in the bar and I, was, I came looking for you last night. Yeah, I was here like for just a couple minutes to drink some water. When you left last night, it was pretty cool. Okay. Dang, we're stout. Yeah, because he had police escort and everything else. All right, well, that was a decent breakfast. Uh, right now is morning practice. So the cars are running the track. I'm going to go and check out some of the booths, like the Chevy booth, Ford booth, and uh, see what they got going on. Got Cadillac racing. This is the new CTSV. Here's the ATSV. Championship edition. So it's got like some extra stripes and carbon fiber bits. And what is this, the V6? The V8? Turbochargers look similar to the uh, to the to the Ford turbocharger. You actually see the, the water jacket here for the exhaust manifold. Spark plug, direct injector right there. Pretty cool. See the valve spring. I love seeing these cutouts. Oh, and it's got a uh, the intercooler is built into the into the manifold. Oh, that's interesting. So the throttle body is there inside the manifold, and it goes from the turbos into the intercooler. And then the throttle body's there. It's a cool design. Look how close everything is compressed. Yeah, it's a really high compression ratio. Shit, the spark plug's almost touching, but it's not. Alright, let's see what's going on here at Ford. We got the new uh, GT350R hanging out. F-150 Raptor. Look at that. It's a big ass truck, man. What else do they have out here? They got a Ford Fiesta. They've got a, let's see, this is the Escape. Oh, and there's a GT in the back. Let's check that out. Ford GT HoloLens Experience. What's this here? What's going on here? Look at this, 650 horsepower. I love it. Looks, looks good in red. So what's going on here? We are doing a mixed reality experience with the hollow lens. Oh yeah? Absolutely. So it does, uh, it actually, you'll see, uh, it has sound, three-dimensional hologram. You'll see, it goes over all the evolution of the new GT, the history and the innovation. You'll, it actually kind of shows the evolution of the 66 and Le Mans all the way through. So it's pretty cool. And it actually, like, drives by in a ring pretty neat. Oh, cool. Let's, shot? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So I didn't actually record any of that, but uh, you guys got to check that out sometime, the, the 4GT HoloLens experience. So basically it's using the uh, Windows Mixed Reality technology to uh, project images onto a set of glasses that you're wearing and uh, shows 3D images in, in space. If you have some time, you should definitely check that out. And I'm curious to see what uh, when Microsoft's going to do with the new uh, Mixed Reality technology. It looks uh, very promising and very cool. Alright, so the grid is open for people to walk on it. So I'm gonna go check out the uh, check out the pits and the cars, see what's uh, see what's here in the field. Hi 
Acura NSX. Look at this. NSX GT3. There you go. Porsche 911. I think this is the RSR. Check this out here is the, the BMW M6. The M6 GT. Audi R8. Another AMG GTR. Oops. And the not AMG GTR. Oh, there's two AMG GTRs. This one's fielded by uh, P1 Motorsports. I saw this last night actually in the, in the paddock. There's another Acura NSX in this funky shift, color shifting paint job. Ferrari 488. Acura NSX. Another AMG GTR. Here's the Mark Levinson Lexus RCF race car. Check out the carbon fiber bodywork. And the red Lexus R RCF. Yes. Full carbon fiber chassis. Yeah. There's no room for any more fans. <laughs> Some way to station off your area, that's for sure. Uh, I'm already working on an RV for next year. Packed. That's the only way we're going to get any sleep. I think I'll be staying at home and just driving to an RV at this point. Yeah, it's not the worst. Uh, not the worst thought. You're listening to IMSA Radio on uh, uh, RS2. 24 hours a day of IMSA content, part of the Radio Show Limited Network. We're live. Nine Eleven RSR. The grid is so completely packed, especially near here, that it's almost impossible to get good shots of all the cars. Here you got a Ford GT. GT. Look at this. Hey, it's ESM. There you go. How's it going, guys? I see you got the car. The car is ready for St. Patrick's Day. There you go. Nice. Give me that bump right there. Oh man. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's it's only fitting. You know, I mean, I saw you guys have that have that car in uh, XL Auto right now for sale. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a championship winning car. <laughs> yeah, so it's the 36 Hours of Florida winner. Very cool. Very nice. So this is pretty close to the Honda Ligier. I think it's an Orica chassis, right? A Ligier. Okay, so it's a Ligier chassis. Okay. Oh, very nice. It's running a Nissan twin turbo motor. Okay, so it's not like the old. I think the old chassis was Honda, wasn't it? So what's it running like a like a GTR motor? I want to do It's pretty a much like a street. Ever. It's almost it's very, very, very close year. to a street car motor. Yeah. Okay. I mean the, the the standard GTR motor V6 is the VR38, right? V8. Yeah, that's a, that's an excellent motor. People are making like well modified motors making over 2,000 horsepower. Well, I mean we're limited on what kind of we what yeah, we're supposed to. Yeah, you can only run like 500 yeah, horsepower. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Still, yes. Well, great, hopefully great that's chassis. the key today. Great, great motor. Oh yeah. So, but is the is the chassis significantly changed from the one that's in uh? Yes. 
It's the yeah, XL? It has. Yeah, I see like the some of the some of these veins yeah. here are a little different. Yeah, it's, I think it's, the nose cone looks a little different. Definitely. Looks like minor tweaks, but not like nothing it's major. It's a new chassis. Yeah. This is awesome. this is a 17 chassis. I think that's a 15. Chassis. Okay. Awesome, man. All right, what's your name? I'm Steve. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Dave. Pleasure. Excellent. Enjoy. Have fun. Everyone, this is David, and I'm here in the where am I? Michelin Hospitality Suite, and I've actually met up with. I forgot, I forgot where I was. This is uh, Freddie. You might know him as uh, Tavarish from YouTube and Jalopnik. And I got Saab Kylo 4. What's up, everyone? I have no idea if you're in the frame. We're just going to assume you are. <laughs> you look like you should be. That, that camera is great because it's it's very obscured by your, your, your dead cat up there. Yeah, you see, I got the it's microphone just, up there. shaking in the breeze. Yeah, and I, and I can't... Well, that's good because that means that it's not um, getting any of the vibrations from me touching the camera around and shaking it. But uh, I have absolutely no idea if you're in the shot or not, so... Hopefully you are. I think you guys are doing the, the Michelin pilot experience, so that's like a thing where you uh, take the car with Michelin pilots 4S tires. Yeah, yeah so, so we, what we did was, um, there, there's a bunch of events, and uh, we're here at Sebring for the 12 hours of Sebring, and um, yesterday we did uh, two driving events off track. We uh, took Porsche 911s and we did um, like a eighth mile run. Um, yeah, it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. So we, we basically had an eighth mile drag race, but okay. at the end of the drag race we had to slam on the brakes. Oh, wow. And then we had to stop in a box. And, uh, so yeah. it was whoever got to the finish line first, but yeah. if you didn't stop in the box, you got to small. Uh, okay. Exactly. That's kind of like... Uh... You ever play GT uh, Gran Turismo? Yeah, I mean, it's like getting a license. Yeah, getting your license. Yeah, except in real life. Yeah. And it's a lot more fun because Gran Turismo okay. is just the most infuriating game ever. Um, yeah. Getting, the, getting that S license would be painful. Um, getting any license. Yeah, yeah. Except uh, for the first one. Of course. Um, so then we did uh, comparison tests between um, the Pirelli P0s okay. and uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4Ss on a um, autocross track that they set up. Okay. And we had like wet and dry sections and we right. did it in uh, BMW 340i's. Okay. Uh, and it's like, it's a night and day difference. Man. I'm really surprised. Yeah. And, you know, usually you, you think like, oh, well, you know, there's slight, you know, right. differences between right. tires. Like, this is like, what, one, one's covered in glue, the other one's covered in bacon grease, you know? Oh, wow. Because like, it, I've, I've driven P0s on the Mustang, Yeah. the, the factory P0s, because I have the, the performance package, and they were really sticky. Once they got hot, they were pretty grippy. You, 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 should, you should try the 4 s It's a completely different experience? Completely different. Dude, like, we were, we were had, whipping like, these cars. They portion and stuff, yeah. and they were telling us, you know, try to stay consistent as we went right. around. Right. Once we switched over to, uh, you know, Tires, there's one portion we come out of the wet, you right, go right and do a slalom. Right. Punched it through that slalom, the Michelin stuck so hard. Yeah, it's it was like it was wasn't wet at all. The so it's just started it's like basically a, a street legal R compound. Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, they have their, their more track focused stuff is uh, the um, uh, Cup 2s. Right. But uh, this is kind of bridging that gap. Okay. And it had a, has a good tread, uh, tread rating. I mean, I'm, I, I put that on my Lamborghini. So it's. Dude, and, and we and we drove uh, cars with those tires on this track. Uh, that's the third part of this uh, okay. whole thing. Like, so we had uh, Porsche Cayman 718s. We had uh, uh, Ford Mustangs, all different uh, engines and whatever. We had uh, Lexus LC 500s. Right. Uh, so yeah, just driving around this, this track and nice. kind of learning it. And then we went out in uh, hot laps okay. in uh, GTLM cars, which is like basically getting in a bar fight. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's 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 really cool. It's, like, a, it's a totally different experience. Oh, yeah. No, it, it's the thing is when people watch racing on TV, it's very clean because yeah. all it's very smooth. Yeah. And you might have like GoPro footage or whatever, and the car's going fast. Like you don't get the sensation that oh, you're about the G forces, like, the bumps, the G forces are going around. It's absolutely insane. Oh yeah. What, what got what got me is that um, well, two two or three things got me. Um, the brakes are so much, so much more aggressive. The carbon brakes. Yeah. Well, you have to brace yourself, like, when you get they're, ready to they're the water. Like, even then, with the, the stickiness of the tires yeah. and the carbon ceramics, you can basically brake as hard as you want. But and you don't have to worry about the overheating. You're, 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 like, you're, not, you're not ready for that. I was, you're, like, pressing yeah. under the firewall. It's like ripping your face off. Like, yeah. It's literally, so, uh, I, I was bracing myself as hard as I can. Just yeah. Bracing. And then... 
this guy slams on the brakes, and my head went between my knees. Like it's just, oh, yeah. yeah, you just get thrown forward. Oh yeah. And then in the turns, you think that you know, um, like me with my my regular human brain. I'm like, the turn's coming up, turn's coming up, might want to slow down, might want to slow down. You're like, nope, just, <laughs> just oh, hucks it into the turn. Turn one? Not, what was that? What, turn one? Yeah, turn one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You hucks oh, yeah. it into the turn, and your body literally, like, it just lifts out of the seat and just, like, slams you right oh, into the door. It's like, yeah, that's, that, and right. that's And that's just how you take turn one. You just, that, that, you might want to lift a little bit to give the front tires yeah. more grip, and then you just sail through turn one. Yeah, um, I mean, the... the, the what, what's interesting is that everybody uh, has said the same thing. Yeah. Um, like when when we were doing the lap, after like when we go on the straightaway, there's a there's like a long straightaway before you get to that uh, the, the last turn. And everybody said when you get to that straightaway and you still yeah. accelerate, you go. Like, <laughs> you go like, oh thank God. All the punishment <laughs> is over. Yeah, it's like okay. Well, <laughs> It's yeah. over. Yeah, oh, he's, God. Still, he's still accelerating like really hard, but it's like it gives your body a, l a little bit of relief <laughs> oh, <nice. laughs> before That's you just get like, pummeled like, again. Nice. Yeah, it, it is. It is absolutely. Um, and after we did that, uh, there, there was two, two eleven cars, one Porsche, which I think is GTD. There was a Mustang GT two fifty R and a uh, uh, Ferrari four five eight. So I went in the Ferrari four five eight after the GT eleven car, and it was like. Could have been driving a Camry, like it was so different. Yeah. It, it was. It could not have been like different, different worlds. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. The the GT3 cars, they're more. I think they're modified production chassis. Yeah. To a degree. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, like it's the GT3 cars, they drive more similarly to a normal car. Sure. You know, like like a. No, but the, 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 Fer the, the Ferrari wasn't a, like it was just a regular Ferrari. Oh, it was, it was, it was a bone stock. It was a bone stock 458. Oh, it was a GTB, not a GT3. No, no, yeah, it's a GTB. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just a regular 458, like off the dealer lot. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, I mean, the guy was a good driver. He was he was, he was definitely yeah. driving at race pace. Yeah. But it's like it's it's a whole different world. The Ferrari, which is weird, because the Ferrari probably has more power than the LM. Yeah. But. It, it is like you know what it is. It's like, I was I was I was like having fun with the Ferrari. Like the, the other car was like. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of like when uh, I blow people's minds when I when I when I take them into my 240. Yeah. And uh, they're like, oh, it's got a K. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, they don't know it's got a fully built K with turbo. Exactly. So yeah. when it hits boost, and especially with the cams that I have, like, two seven two cams. Oh okay, yeah. So, that's, so that's like the, the difference between off boost and on boost power when the yeah. boost comes on, it's this massive rust and acceleration. Uh, that combined with the opened up wastegate, the solid motor mounts, so the whole car is shaking, and it's just a totally different experience. Like, I hop into the Mustang and I have to like readjust myself. If I, if I went from the, the 240 straight to the Mustang. Yeah, it's kind of like that. So I think uh, I think some other people are here. I know uh, James is here, Stradman. Uh, Jason from Engineering Explained is here. So I'm just going to kind of wander around and see if I can find them. toys they've got. They brought an i8. Looks like the new BMW X2, I think. Real nice. Uh, I think this is an X3. So they got a nice X3 here. And uh, looks like an M3 featuring the BMW Performance Driving School. Oh, they got a couple of cars here. This is last year's M6 GT. Really nice. Look at this thing. This might be, actually might be a current year to have fixed GT. And I like how they left all the bugs and all the tire smashes, all the grass just to stay in there. Gives it a lot, good bit of patina, good bit of history there. Wow. Very nice. And so they have a thing where you can sit in it. What's up, man? Are you guys uh, doing a thing? Nice.
So people think that getting into a race car is hard. Let me show you how to do it. tight fit in here which is uh, no surprise seeing as how it was probably designed for a much smaller driver uh, with much shorter legs but yeah you the clutch is down there you only use that once brake is right there no power assist and uh, there's a gas pedal here you have like a race pack kind of system and this this is like a gauge gauge art setup and it tells you all of your um, Revs, actually revs would be down there, but probably, you probably set this up with your water temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, stuff like that. Uh, this probably, this is a crank, this is your no, ABS, fuel reset, uh, fuel two, I think it probably just turns on your, uh, these are just a, this is just a switchboard for your uh, fuel system, stuff like that, ignition, uh, main, main power there, fire st starts the engine. Uh, this is just your traction control. This is, this is just the amount of uh, allowable slip angle you want. Uh, oh, this probably is traction control. I have no idea what this does. Uh, this probably adjusts, I believe, your brake bias. Uh, this says TC plus. I'm not sure what that does. This probably puts you in neutral. TC plus. This is your yellow. That's your purple. Uh, this is, it has a fancy button. I don't know what fancy does. This talk, push the talk for the radio. Hits your wiper, and uh, that's dash. Uh, that could be maybe like a, a, a drag, redu drag reduction system. Uh, this button is not labeled. I don't know what it does. So very cool. It's got a uh, crazy setup in here. This is awesome. I gotta get a cage. So getting in isn't too bad. Getting out is a problem. So I'm gonna try to get out now, and it's gonna be the least, not a very dignified thing. Alright guys, so I just went on this tram ride to get to the outside of Turn 17. Uh, if you don't know, Turn 17 is a famous uh, turn on this track. You're going into it from the Oman Strait, so you're going, coming down the strait at 150 miles per hour, hitting the brakes hard into what's essentially a blind cor corner. And the corner is uh, not tarmac, it's concrete. So you have less traction and the, uh, it's very, very bumpy. So it tends to be uh, a bumpy ride while you're hauling ass through the track onto turn one. So I'm gonna try to uh, get to the outside of turn 17 and uh, to get, some, get some shots of the cars bouncing around. 